The slippery slope we've all been warned about for so long. Well, it really exists because today a major trending story was about some polygamists who are demanding now that they be giving mar given marriage licenses or they will sue. Here with reaction is Dean Broyles, the president and chief counsel at the National Center for Law and Policy. Honor to have you in my studio. I, we all called this. We all knew this was going to happen. People. People called us irrational. People said, oh no, that will never happen. Um, but it's happening. I, I, have you taken any precautions? What, what can we do? Is there anything that precludes this? Because from everything I read, from Robert's dissent to Scalia's dissent on this decision, sounds like the law is already in place and this is just a matter of time before polygamy is legal in the United States. Yeah, specifically Robert's dissent in the uh, same-sex marriage decision last Friday right. mentioned that polygamy was next. Right. And this was actually predicted more than a decade ago in the mm. Lawrence versus Texas dissent by Justice Scalia. He said not only we, we, would we have polygamy, but we mm -hmm. would have no other means to put the brakes on any other types of uh, definitions of marriage or expansions of marriage okay. or sexuality. Okay, so this is what I want to know because I, I've asked this question a lot in social media and the answer I've gotten from so many people is that if it's if, I guess not two, I won't say two, if it is consenting adults, that is the only way that marriage can happen. In other words, my husband was lobbied by a group who wanted to be able to marry farm animals. Can't make this up. They wanted it to be legal for them to be with their farm animals. And, um, and, and so this is going back, um, I don't know, 2006, I think. And so my question to you is, and the question I keep asking on social media is, is if the animal can't consent, then can that be a marriage? If a child is not of legal age and therefore can't consent, um, does that make us safe from NAMBLA's preferences? Well, you're absolutely right. Um, once you start tinkering with the definition of marriage mm -hmm. and you remove it from a transcendent concept mm -hmm. that's defined outside of humanity right. um, by law or by God or by a higher power, then it's, it, it boils down to preferences, what you like, what you prefer, how you feel. Right, and, and, and one of, the, and one of the, the key provisions in the decision that was particularly, um, I guess, forewarning, if you will, ominous, uh, was that it, it was never about what the law said. The decision from the majority was really more about how it made people feel. That's right. So That's if right. I feel bad because I want to marry my horse, then do I have a right to marry my horse? I mean, that's... Uh... Sure. I mean, once, again, once you sub start subjectively defining moral virtues like marriage, then where do you stop? Once you remove the brakes from a car, how mm -hmm. do you stop the car? Um, once you remove the boundaries and how it's been set for millennia throughout history, it's hard to say, well, this is okay, but this is not. Mm -hmm. And is, who, who decides whether it's the basis of two consenting adults or not? I mean, they're already lowering the age of consent in uh, the Netherlands for, so older men can marry younger men or younger women or girls. And, and what so, is that age? Do you know? I believe it's been reduced to 13 or 14 years old. So, I mean, conceivably they can argue, well, the minor can consent in that case, but I mean, where do you stop? Where do you stop when you start redefining marriage? Um, are, you know, if I have a warm relationship with my dog, can I apply for marriage license with my dog now? Can five women and three uh, men now marry as a, as a polyamorous and it relationship? Doesn't, it doesn't sound like that was even a question. I, I mean, just from the, from, the, from the words of Scalia, from the words of Robert, from the words of the majority uh, on that vote, it doesn't sound like that was a question. Like, if it is consenting adults, basically it's no one's right to define it. Sure. That, under their new precedent that they've set. But yeah. what about the consensual or the a lack of consent from an animal? An animal can't say, this is such a disgusting conversation, I can't believe I'm having it with you. But is, is this a legitimate concern in our society now? I think it is a concern. I mean, over in Europe right now, they're, they have locations in Germany where individuals can have sexual relations with animals. And we're not very far away from those arguments being made. And mm -hmm. certainly an animal can't consent. Alfred Kinsey was a scientist who, a so-called scientist, who experimented with Nazi prisoners of war babies. 
uh, and he stimulated these babies and he then said that they were sexual and that they enjoyed sex because they began to cry and that that was really the only expression they had to um, communicate that they were aroused. This is a disgusting conversation, but I'm just asking if they, if, if science wants to spend enough money to find that babies can consent, is there going to be any such thing as rape anymore? Any th such thing as child molestation anymore? I mean, I, I think if you'd make that argument publicly today, you know, people would come back, well, it has to be two consenting adults. But, but why does it have to be two consenting adults? Mm. I mean, what's to stop this um, couple or this three-person couple with a man and two women in Montana from obtaining a marriage license. Mm -hmm. I think that's the next case to be litigated and it'll only go on from there as to what can be defined as a marriage, whether it's polyamorous or, or with animals or with children. Okay, We're not let very me ask far you one that. thing. If, if, a, if a gay couple or a polygamous, uh, I guess poly polygamy wouldn't even matter, but if a gay couple walks into a mosque, uh, is that imam going to have to marry them? Um, n not any time in the near future. But I think we're going that way. I think we're going to start seeing nonprofits losing their tax exempt status, mm -hmm. and there'll be more attacks on churches and pastors and imams, mm -hmm. and uh, to do uh, uh, marriages that are, that will be redefined. Mm -hmm. The problem with the Supreme Court is they acted legislatively. They mm -hmm. took the will of the people away from the people and redefined a, a, an institution that's been defined as a man and woman for millennia. It's a brand new day. Thank you.